yo, what's up, family? It's King Leon X, KLX, UBVOA, the human liberator. Uh oh, that's a little janky. Anyway, this is another episode. This is episode four of Take Charge of Your Life. Uh, the series Self Mastery, Self Mastery, Self Motivation series is episode four this week. But today is um, December 6, 2016, and it is no take charge of your life take charge of your day take charge of your mind take charge of your mental attitude this week like i told y'all uh this week is burn your shit so every day at the beginning of this week uh i'm going to uh, be reading the the burn your ship section out of thinking grow rich and then i'm going to uh, speak about those points all right so uh, a long while ago a great warrior was faced with a situation that made it necessary for him to make a decision which ensured the, uh, his success on the battlefield he was about to send his armies against a powerful foe whose uh, um, numbers out or whose army outnumbered his. He loaded his soldiers into boats and sailed to the enemy's country. He unloaded the soldiers' equipment, then he unloaded uh, uh, the soldiers, and then he gave the orders to burn the ships that carried them. Addressing his men before the first battle, he said, "You see those boats going up in smoke." He said, "You see those boats going up in smoke." That means we cannot leave these shores alive unless we win. Now we have no choice. We win or we perish. Right? So we're speaking about um, burning your ships this week. All right? And we're, ta- we're talking about cutting off all sources of retreat. Every person who wins in any undertaking must be willing to burn his ships and cut off all sources of retreat. Only by doing so can we uh, maintain the... Uh, state of mind known as a burning desire to win which is essential for success so if you was uh connected with us yesterday the three points uh recap that we had um the first one was deciding what type of world you want to live in all right understanding when we make the choice take charge of our life take charge of our mind take charge of our mental attitude then one of the things that we have to choose one of the things that we have to decide is the type of world that we live in are we going to look uh, through a, a optimistic lens or a pessimistic lens are we going to look through a a, a a lens of prosperity or a, a, a lens of poverty and scarcity are we going to uh, look through the lens of limitation or or imagination right are we going to look through the lens do we live in a world of love or do we live in a world of fear that was the first point from yesterday the second point was uh have respect for yourself have enough respect for yourself to master yourself to uh to uh become your greatest version right to go through the do what the the necessary work uh in order for you to become uh like i said your greatest version create your personal legend and uh, deliver your highest good to you know humanity the third point that we covered yesterday was to make the decision to make the first step right now a lot of people um procrastinate procrastinate every self-made millionaire self-made billionaire that i ever studied they had to overcome procrastination to achieve uh you know their goals and their dreams and so um don't think that we are don't think that we don't have to uh, overcome procrastination so those are the three points that i covered yesterday uh on, on uh, burning your ships and then i went into reasons um, and so I wanted to cover this part again to make sure that if you just tune it in and this is your first episode of watching Take Charge of Your Life, uh, I want to make sure you have enough reasons to get back up. Make sure you have enough reasons um, to know uh, enough reasons that will make you strong. Enough reasons to know why you why you do it, like who you do it for. Enough reasons to make it worth it. You know what I mean? Because in the down times, that's when you're going to discover who you are. So you got to make the choice take charge of your life, take charge of your mind, take charge of your mental attitude, uh, take charge of your future, right, I I was, uh, I was studying yesterday, uh, and then earlier, and this quote kept stuck, um, uh, coming into my head, uh, the quote was, uh, necessity is the mother of all invention, right, uh, necessity is the mother of invention, so, um, because it's not until someone's backs against the wall or there's a, 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 you know, a definite need for something, um, then we trigger that part in us that's tapped to infinite intelligence and infinite, you know, wisdom. It has the power uh, for us to manifest whatever. So it's like those who think they can and those who think they can't are both right. Right? Those who think they can and both those who think they can't. They're both right. That's what Henry Ford said. Uh, let me just his comments. Yo, what up? Oh, my mom tuned in. What's up, Ma? Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, let's see. 
Let's do I do talks in California? Y'all, I'm coming to California in February. But let me not get sidetracked. Um, necessity is the mother of invention. So what that means to me is like big challenges, like big challenges force growth. Think about uh, the times, uh, a time where you face big odds and your back was against the wall, right? You face big odds against failure it was stacked up, piled up against you. Uh, and then somehow you managed to win or somehow you managed to still come out uh, with success. Right. Think about a time where uh, you made up in your mind what the decision was going to be, what the outcome was going to be, period, uh, regardless of what anyone else thought or what anyone else saw. Uh, and you cut off all sources of retreat. You cut off all other options and somehow you made it through. You know, somehow you achieved uh, success. Somehow you still won. Right. So it's in the hard times. It's in the down times is when we find out what we're made of. All right, you have to go through enough uh, struggle. Look, I think Kwame Ture said, it was either Kwame Ture or Miles Monroe, but he said, you only know the truth. You only learn to discover the truth through constant struggle against lies. All right, you only get to know the truth against uh, through constant struggle against lies. So, so in the hard times, that's when we find out what we're made of. You feel me? And once we make it through, once we make it through this, um, once we make it through this trial, this uh, this this tribulation, once we get this message, once we get this lesson, once we overcome this obstacle, we're a completely different person forever. We're more equipped, you know, with more power, more skills. We have another reference, another uh, uh, positive deposit in our in our memory bank to remind us of how strong we are, how powerful we are how, and what we really made up. You know what I mean? So, um this is going to bring me to the, the action step, the neuro-linguistic programming action step um, that we're taking pretty much. At first, I was going to do it for, uh, you know, a week, and then I was going to stretch it to two weeks, but I'm just doing it a whole month because we got to stick with this a whole month because we're talking about reprogramming ourselves, reprogramming our minds, reprogramming our philosophies. So, um, some uh, instant action step that you could implement um, that dramatically increase the quality of your life is every time you're going throughout your day, um, you're learning, you're growing and stuff like that. Uh, you're in conversation. Every time you feel yourself getting ready to say, I don't know, or anytime you say, I don't know, just instantly remind yourself, you know, those who think they can and those who think they can't are, are both right. So instantly switch, replace, I don't know out of your vocabulary, replace, I don't know how to do this, or I don't know this, replace that with, I am learning how to, right? I'm going to figure it out. I will figure it out. I must figure it out. I can figure it out. Right. Replace the I don't knows with with um, definite words um, that that lead to your truth and your knowing that it's all energy anyway. Everything is everything. All your goals and dreams, they all already exist in an energy form. You know what I mean? It's about you becoming aware of how to tap into those things. It's about you raising your vibrations and your frequencies to deal with, uh, you know, life's challenges. So instead of saying, I don't know, say I am learning how to. Right. Instead of saying, I don't know, say, I'm going to figure it out. Right. Don't wish it was easier. Wish it was better. Every time you remind yourself that every time you say, I don't know. And then you remind yourself, nah, I do know I'm going to figure it out or I'm learning how to. Every time you tell yourself that you're it's a you're you're breaking the code, you're breaking the invisible chains. You feel me? One by one, one step at a time, one thought at a time. You feel me? One day at a time. We have to stand guard at the door of our minds, just like you would stand guard, um, you know, uh, at your back pocket with someone trying to steal your wallet or stand guard at your purse. Someone trying to steal your, your, your wallet, you, you stand guard, but oftentimes we don't stand stand guard on the, at the door of our mind for the thief who's trying to steal our promise, the thief who's trying to steal our greatest good, the thief who's trying to steal our joy, the, the thief who's trying to steal our, our sound health, the thief who's trying to steal our peace of mind, the thief who's trying to steal our uh, harmony in our human relationships, the thief who's trying to steal our willingness to share one's blessings with others, the thief who's trying to steal, um, you know, our, our, uh, our, our tolerance uh, and, and uh, open mind towards all subjects and all people. You know what I mean? The thief who's trying to steal our, our flow. We have to stand guard at the door of our mind every single day, every single moment. And that's part of taking charge of your life. So, um, so when you truly burn your ships, right, it's magic. 
it's, that's when magic happens. When you truly burn your ships, that's it's like when magic happens. All of your energy from your conscious mind to your subconscious mind, they all obsess um, with how to succeed. Again, think about that time uh, when you might have burnt your ship. So you cut off all sources of retreat. And the only thing you did was focus on of how to solve the problem. And guess what? The... Uh, once your all your energy, your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, all of it had, was was uh, obsessed with um, focused on how to succeed. You did, you, you did succeed. Of course you did, right? That's how that's how the universe works. So, um, but a key point about burning the ships is like burning the ships uh, does not guarantee success, right? It's only a potential outcome, right? It must have uh, uh, faith, uh, applied faith, belief in oneself. Uh, you know, desiring a whole bunch of other uh, principles of personal achievement, which I'm going to be giving y'all uh, daily, uh, every Monday through Friday at 12 from um, from 12 to 12, 15. And um, anyway, let's see. Let me get to my next point. My bad. Oh, all right. Yeah. So I wanted to ask y'all this question. It's like, because I was thinking about this and I was watching, I was watching what people say and what people be uh, posting about and I, I deal a lot of uh, times with one-on-one people um, and their transitions and breakthroughs and trying to figure out their life purpose and stuff like that. And oftentimes, like, people, like, when you dig deeper, people's goals, the things that they want or the things that they think they want, it's not even really their goals. Like, the things that people say that they want is not really their goals. It's not really something that's... That, in their own heart it's a desire outside of their own heart you know what i mean uh and so you have to ask yourself a serious question to ask yourself is is your goal really your goal All right is your goal really your goal not your family's goal not your spouse's goal not your you know your child not like is the things that you do and you focus your life on the things that you share your time, you invest your time in, your in, your energy, your atten- attention, is this, is this something that, that you truly want? Like something that you desire, something that you plan, something that you intended? Uh, most of the times when people, when we really dig deep and investigate um, people's goals and their desires, we find out it's not. We, we find out that they're living someone else's goals. We find out that they're living someone else's dreams, which is why we have we hear such things as a midlife and then now a, a quarter life crises. When people realize, you know, they've just been going through the motions, they've been a wandering generality, living someone else's life, um, and, and then they and then they they make the choice to take charge of their life. But we can do this. You know, I'm 27 right now. I started getting some of this information after I was working. I was working. Um, you know, corporate America, uh, some marketing firms and stuff like that. And I, I started, my mind started being open to a different way of thinking and a whole different way of operating. And, uh, I began to implement some of the strategies in my own life, which led me to, to, you know, burn my ships, leave corporate, leave any type of working for these pilgrims and, um, you know, build my own you know, empire from scratch. And, uh, I believe I'm qualified to deliver the information that I'm giving to y'all on the daily. So anyway, uh, is your goal really your goal, right? Your desires and your influences, are they inside of you? Like, are they of your heart or are they outside of you? Most people are trapped in respectability they're more worried about the opinions of others what other people would think what other people would say more than what they think or what they'll say about themselves you feel me so just let me ask you this question because i think i'll be going off topic off my paper but i'm only giving y'all 15 minutes every day and then i'm giving uh i'm opening it up for the callers but think about this it's like why struggle towards a small goal though you know it's like if you're going to be dreaming, it's like my favorite Donald Trump, my favorite Donald Trump quote, right? Because Donald Trump got this book called Art of the Deal. It came out in like 87, before, way before I was born. This nigga's already a billionaire. But anyway, he said, if you're going to be thinking at all, you might as well think big. You know, he said, might as well think big if you're going to be thinking anyway. You might as well think big. Les Brown said, 
the problem is not that people aim too high in life and miss, but it's that they aim too low and hit. So if we gonna struggle anyway, you feel me? Why struggle towards a small goal? Why tr- why struggle towards a small goal? Just why? Just just answer that, please. Answer that to me. Why? If we gonna struggle anyway, why struggle towards a small goal? It doesn't make any sense. Enlarge your expectations. Expand. Dream big. That's what I'm picking up from tomorrow because it's already twelve fifteen. Hey, hold on. Let me open these. Yo, I'm on the phone lines right now. Anybody got any questions or want to say something? I just opened the phone lines up. All right, cool. So it don't look like nobody got nothing to say. I'm about to cut this phone line. Uh, Episode four, King Leon next. Take charge of your life. You know, complete. You can shop up, cop my book, check out my website. I put the black woman first in the black child first, cause I'm a black man and I know my family's worth. I already broke the first self-love, till the hurt. I did a lot of dirt, so until I'm in the dirt, I'ma put in work. Productivity, I own the prize. My why gives me energy. Haters try to limit me, but I know my divinity. Infiltrate the industry and bring these trackers misery. Self mastery, black billionaire tendency. Slave to good habits, self doubt is the enemy. My only enemy is in the inner me. Self limited beliefs and some thoughts I think. Breaking invisible chains, I'm almost free. So rewrite history. Notable is every word I speak. Notable is Hold every up. goal I reach. Don't follow me. Follow your dreams. Don't follow me. Yeah, follow yeah, your cop dreams. up. You feel Don't me? You get my, me. you get my buck. Dreams. Don't follow me. Follow your dreams. You get my album. Don't follow me. Follow your dreams. Oh, that was King Leon next. I'll catch y'all tomorrow, same time, same place.